the Dhammapada, verse 281. Purify thoughts, words, and deeds. Vacha nurakhi manasa susamvuta kayena cha akusalangna kaira ete tayo kamma pathe visodhaye aradhaye magang isipave ditang. Watchful of speech, well restrained in mind, let him do no evil with the body. Let him purify these three ways of action and attain the path made known by the sages. Guard your thought, word, and deed. Once, when Venerable Mahamogallana was coming down a hill with Bhikkhu Lakkana, he saw a miserable, ever-hungry spirit, or peta, with the head of a pig and the body of a human being. On seeing the peta, Venerable Mahamogallana just smiled in order to indicate he had seen this particular hungry ghost. Back at the monastery, when questioned by Lakkana as to why he smiled, Venerable Mahamogallana said he saw a hungry ghost or a peta with its mouth swarming with maggots. The Buddha added that he himself had seen that very hungry ghost soon after his attainment of Buddhahood. Then he proceeded to relate the story about the ghost. During the time of a previous Buddha, this particular hungry ghost was a bhikkhu who often expounded the Dhamma. On one occasion, he came to a monastery where two bhikkhus were staying together. After staying with the two bhikkhus for some time, he found that the people liked his way of expounding the Dhamma. Then he thought it would be even better if he could make the two bhikkhus leave the monastery and have the place all to himself. Thus, he set one against the other. The two bhikkhus quarreled and left the monastery. On account of this evil deed, that bhikkhu had to suffer for a long time after his death. In his present existence, he was suffering as a pig-hungry ghost. Then the Buddha exhorted, A bhikkhu should be calm and well restrained in thought, word, and deed.